We have over 43 new diamonds dropping today in MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dynasty. In the comment section, maybe let me know what are you most excited for from the content drop today. We have the always intense set two packs. I believe there's eight diamonds in there. We got attributes for at least one of them, a finest Brian Wilson. We have the attributes for the big legends and flashback collection, that 99 finest George Brett. We have a lot of the diamonds that have been revealed for the featured program, those future stars, one from each team and then the attributes for some of them as well and then we also have tops now dropping later today and we also have a new headliner dropping later today so we just have a ton of new content a ton of new diamonds gonna show you guys everything we know that's coming later today right now so i think for me i want to start with the always intense pack what you're seeing on the screen right now is the base round from the pack we have a 91 overall all-star paul goldschmidt a 92 overall milestone jorge polanco a cycle card from 2019 and jorge polanco's always had a glitchy swing so i'm really excited to see what his attributes are looking like to see if i'm going to want to use them on my team a 92 overall gold glove adam duvall Duvall. And Adam Duvall has been sneaky good for me in VR, so I'm curious to see what that hitting attributes are for that card. We have a 92 overall prime, a Lorenzo Kane from when he's on the Kansas City Royals. And then to finish off that base round here in the always intense set two pack, we got a milestone cycle, Brock Holt, 91 overall. Shout out to Carl, dude. And then we have the rare round for the always intense pack, and I'm excited for this, man. Starting off with the Nick Castellanos milestone card, 50 doubles club from the 2019 season where he hit 58 doubles. 95 overall Marcus Semyon, second half hero from 2019. I'm curious to see what that card's looking like. I will say though, Nick Castellanos, I feel like I'm going to use that card at least on my bench, man. He had a, uh, I think it was the all-star card last year, which I just loved. But then capping off the always intense set two pack, we have this 95 overall finest Brian Wilson, who as y'all can see, we actually have his attributes available. So 95 overall, four seam cutter slider and a two seam fastball. 100 hits per nine 96 velocity 93 break and then 84 control man that's a pretty solid looking card and i don't know about y'all but i'm loving that retro finest card art for the legends and you're also going to see if you haven't already george brett's version later on in this video so now on to the new featured program that's going to be dropping today 30 new diamonds one for each team going to be future of the franchise that's what this featured program is called and that means that every player is getting a 95 overall future star to represent their team in this future of the franchise featured program again we're starting with the american league east we got the orioles have gunner henderson as their future star the yankees are gonna have oswald peraza and i'm sorry about any mispronunciations in this video i suck at pronouncing names moving on to the red sox they have brian bello and then for the tampa bay rays we have good old josh lowe and i think you guys were telling me that he is nathaniel's brother i think you guys clarified that for me down in the comment section and we do have his attributes as y'all can see 88 82 for the contact 92 80 for the power 86 speed some diamond defense that's a really solid looking card for our first attribute reveal for these future stars and then capping off the american league east for the blue jays we have Aurelvis Martinez, a third baseman. And by the way, I'm loving this card art, man. I think it's beautiful. Now we're going to be sticking in the American League, but moving on over to the Central, starting with the Twins. We got Austin Martin, a center fielder. I can't get over this card art. Then for the Tigers, we got Jackson Joby. If that's how you say his name, I kind of like that name, but... Either way, moving on to the Royals, they have Nick Prado, which is pretty cool. I feel like that should be hopefully a pretty good looking card. For the White Sox, we have Yoelki Cespedes. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing any names. And capping off the American League Central, we have some more attributes from the Guardians, George Valera right field but also plays the other outfield positions with that diamond defense and 69 speed 97 to 86 for his contact 110 and 90 for the power and i know i keep saying diamond defense i think this guy might have a gold shield even in right field just based on his fielding and reaction and everything like that but still a really solid overall defender good arm good reaction good fielding with some decent speed pretty solid looking card to finish off the american league central and we're staying in the american 
American League East going to finish it off in the West Division. Starting with the Athletics, we got Shea Langliers from the Athletics. The catcher, I think this might be the first catcher that we've seen so far. And now moving on over to the Houston Astros, we have our second catcher that I think we've seen so far, if I'm not mistaken. We got Corey Lee from the Houston Astros from the Rangers. Justin Foscu, a second baseman. And just like last year, I have a feeling that I'm going to learn about a lot of players and a lot of guys that I previously did not know about. For the Mariners, we got Matt Brash, a starting pitcher. And then to finish off the division, we have our third set of attributes from these future stars. Reed Detmers is the future star, the future of the franchise for the Angels. 102 hits per nine, four seam sweeping curve slider, circle change in the cutter, and 99 break. 82 control and then 76 velocity but that hits per nine is looking really good and the first division we have for the national league is going to be the national league east starting with the nationals we got brady house a shortstop as their future the franchise and then for the braves we got michael harris the second a center fielder oh man i'm loving that we're getting some more lefties i don't know what it is i'm loving lefty swings this year and then from the mets we got brett Beatty. i feel like he's one of the guys that i recognize their names from the future stars because there hasn't been a ton of them obviously there's been a few there hasn't been a ton but he's one of the guys i recognize from the marlins we got some more attributes this time we got khalil watson look at this shortstop man 96 88 for the contact 92 84 for the power 93 speed also plays third base has that diamond defense with a really really good arm and whoever said this wasn't lying when they said this guy might take the spot of jazz's future star card from last year man this is another marlins future star who's looking really really good and then to finish off the division, we got some more attributes from y'all. Bryson Stott. I think this is probably who most people wanted from the Philadelphia Phillies. 112-100 for the contact, 81-70 and 70 for the power. To go with 83 speed, 88 fielding, 87 arm strength, the 92 arm accuracy. Shortstop also plays second and third. Lefty bat. This is going to be an insane card. I can't wait to use him, man. I wish the power versus lefties was a little bit higher, but... I have a feeling this is going to be a fun card to use. And as you might have seen, 99 Retro Finest George Brett is the big collection reward, at least the first big collection reward. And taking a look at his attributes, he's got 125 and 120 contact versus righties and lefties at Super Fractor. It'll be maxed out versus both sides. And then 110 and 96 versus power. Get into parallel four, and he's going to have at least 100 power versus both sides to go with 74 speed. 89 fielding 85 arm strength with 87 accuracy and then 81 reaction third base primary first base secondary and i'm gonna be the first one to admit it this card is way better looking than i expected and i've always liked george brett's swing in the past i just feel like he's never had a card that i've wanted to use over my primary choice at third or first base so i'm really excited to give him a try especially this early on in the year i know not everybody's gonna want to or be able to get that collection done i'm hoping i'm gonna be able to get it done and i'm hoping i'm gonna like this card because he's looking really good after seeing these attributes and just one more reminder all of that and more is coming out today at around noon pacific once it does drop i'll have a video going over hopefully everything might even have to divide it into two videos hopefully we'll keep it into one but we'll have to wait and see because it is a lot of content but we'll be covering everything once it comes down later today and then hopefully this weekend be getting some gameplay with a lot of the new cards and hopefully including that 99 george brett but i hope you all enjoyed the video like and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace out